What was the hardest part about these last 10 years? Going through my divorce. Meet Allison, a single mom who's seen some tough times. It was a custody battle. I lost my house. I lost everything. And the signs are starting to show. The lines around her face and the little wrinkles. Now it's up to our team of experts to turn this tired mom around. You ready to make a change? Definitely. And make her look 10 years younger. Everybody, I'm Mark Montano. Welcome to 10 Years Younger. Today we're here at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach. Now before we get started on Allison's makeover, we have to figure out how old people think she looks. So she's agreed to step into our soundproof booth while we survey 100 people. And once we come up with an average age, we're gonna make her look 10 years younger. This is Allison. How old is she? 50. 52? I think she's 54. So she's like really no style to her hair. Her dress, it's not up to date. She dresses as an older person would dress. 49. 55. She's got the wrinkles. She was smoking. Her eyes are drooping and the wrinkles around her mouth. What would you do to make her look fantastic? I would definitely fix her teeth, make them more even, oh. make them more uniform shape. Her hair needs to be modernized. It's too long and too poofy. Clothing, it just it doesn't flatter her at all. She needs you to update that fashion. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your daily life. I'm a substitute teacher, so I work on call when they call me. I am a single mom, so I do a lot of things with my daughter, running around for soccer or basketball. She's really into sports. How long have you been a single mom? About almost 10 years now. What was the hardest part about these last 10 years? Going through my divorce, it was really hard. It was a custody battle. I lost my house, I lost everything, and there was a lot of stress on me to keep it together, take care of my daughter, start over. It was really, really hard, physically, emotionally. It took a lot out of me, a lot. What is it that brings you to us here? It's time I did something for myself. I feel so much younger than I look that I really think it's time to kind of do something, freshen up, start again. What specifically would you change? The lines, definitely, around my mouth. From smoking? Mm-hmm, definitely. Yeah. The forehead ones are deep, the dark circles are really bad. And I really, really would like to feel good about my teeth and my smile. What is it about your teeth that you don't like? Well, everything. I've always had spaces in the center of my teeth, and then my daughter accidentally broke a front tooth, so I had to get a bridge on my mouth that never matched my teeth, so I still think it looks pretty awful. So I think it uh, hinders my natural reaction to things. When I laugh, I cover my mouth. It's kind of automatic. I've always done that. How does your daughter feel about the way you look? Does she ever say anything? Just the only thing she will say is about maybe how I dress, because I'm pretty sloppy. The other day when I put on this dress and my boyfriend just looked at me and he said, that is the ugliest dress I've ever seen. And I said, yeah, well, you know, it's comfortable. <laughs> Didn't bother you to hear that? Well. Kind of. So why do you still have it? It's easy. I could just put it on and I'm dressed. Sort of. <laughs> I just haven't gotten rid of it. I have a lot of things like that. Do you buy things for yourself? I do a lot of thrifting, hand-me-downs, things like that. Do you think you deserve to treat yourself every now and again? Oh yeah. Now I do. But you didn't before? No. Did you not treat yourself maybe because you were putting your daughter first? Definitely. I put her first and um... Finances were always an issue since I was a single mom. They were a big issue for a while. And now it's time to put yourself first. Oh, yeah. And you're ready to do that? Oh, yes. All right. I want to take a look at the photos that you brought. Okay. Okay. You look beautiful in this photograph. You look amazing here. Gosh, that's 80s. I think that's before I was even married. I was very happy then. I had my whole life ahead of me. Do you feel that way now? I'm beginning to feel like I do have still a life ahead of me. A different one than I planned back then. Tell me about this photo. I'm holding my daughter. I'm pretty at peace. I was happy. I was younger. I was a lot younger. I want to show you a photograph that we took of you when we first started this process. Okay. Mmm. That's hard to look at. I just look completely worn out. I don't know. I look like an ex-drug addict or something. Really. <laughs> Dark circles, the teeth, the everything. I just look so worn out. Do you feel that way? No. 
No, I don't. Well, we've done something called scientific age progression. This is what you're going to look like in 10 years if you continue on the path that you're on. pretty bad. What is it about this photo that scares you? I have a daughter. I don't want her to be embarrassed of me. I want to be a big part of her life. I don't want to be put in the background any more than I'm going to be because she's growing up. Well, we're going to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Let's take a look and see what the people on the street had to say about you, okay? She is 55. She maybe was 19 in 1969. 43. Her skin kind of has those like sunspots that you get when you get older. The shininess on her face and uh, I guess her pores and stuff that are all open. I think it would totally fix her teeth by getting veneers, a little whitening. I would probably give her a heavier shade on her face, maybe something to smooth out the wrinkles a bit, and her hands. The hands uh, make her look a little bit older. I think she's in her mid 50s, maybe. She has wrinkles on her face. She looks like maybe she's sun damaged a little bit. Just the way she's dressed, it looks kind of, I don't know, frumpy maybe. What would you do to make her look better? Take her shopping? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh mm-hmm. -huh. Uh -huh. You agree? Yes. Actually, I'm not that surprised. It's not nice, but it doesn't really shock me. Is that what you think about yourself? Pretty much. We surveyed 100 people. Mm -hmm. The average age that people thought you looked was 51 years old. Mm-hmm. It's hard to hear it. How old are you? How old do you think Allison is? Find out when 10 Years Younger returns. 10 Years Younger is back. The public thinks Allison is 51. Let's find out her real age. How old are you? I'm 44. How does it make you feel to know that people think you look seven years older than you are? I'm not really surprised, but it's still hard to hear. You ready to make a change? Definitely. All right, let's get started. Allison's makeover starts now with a visit to dermatologist Dr. Moy. Well, this is the opportunity for you to complain about anything you want regarding your mm -hmm. face, and then I can tell you how we can improve it. Well, you can see the obvious lines that are here, mm -hmm. here, and especially these little ones around my mouth. Mm -hmm. Well, Allison has sun damage, and she has wrinkle lines, and she has some loss of volume in her face. The first thing we can do is tighten her face a little bit, and we do that with the infrared heating device. What we're getting is a little bit of tightening of your forehead area using this device. It works like a brow lift would do, although it's not as much lifting as a brow lift, but it's a lot easier to go through. It's basically heating the skin, and that heating then causes some contraction or tightening of the skin. You'll see a little bit of tightening, maybe a millimeter or two right away when you sit up. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the tightening you may see over many weeks. The second thing that we can do is to resurface her face with the Fraxel resurfacing laser. That improves the sun damage and will help the wrinkle lines and the blotchiness. This little area that we're going back and forth on, we're putting tiny little holes in the skin, which is resurfacing the skin. And so it's going down to the wrinkle level, really removing about 18% of the surface area of the skin, you will see some improvement, especially in the brown spots and the superficial wrinkles. The two procedures that we did with Allison today went well. We did the Titan procedure and the Fraxel procedure. She tolerated them very well. Um, there were no problems, no complications. So I expect everything to turn out extremely well. With her skin renewed, Allison is off to the dentist chair to meet Dr. Cohen, who will give her something to really smile about. Come on in, let's go see what we can do for you. I'm a little nervous because I've had this space in my mouth for all my life, and as much as it's kind of not that nice, I'm nervous about changing my smile. Right, well, let me take a look here. Right down for me. Allison's problems are that she had a big gap in her front teeth. She had some bonding done on the left side that was pretty ratty looking. Um, she had a bridge that was on the right side that didn't match the color of the rest of her teeth. And she had a bridge on the lower right that just, there was no way she could chew. What we'll do, Al Allison, is we'll replace the missing tooth over here so that you have a side to chew on. And then we'll get some veneers going up in here and over here to replace that bonding and also replace this bridge so that when you smile, everything is uniform and get rid of the front gap. How's that sound? Sounds good. I want my teeth to look better. I want them to match, and 
haven't been able to do this. I've been bothered by my smile all my life, and so yes, I'm excited. Allison, we're going to put some glasses on you because we're going to be using a laser in there. What the laser does is it kind of moves the gum tissue out of the way a little bit. So this is the area we're going to be putting the bridge in, and what we're doing is we're preparing those two teeth for crowns that are going to hold a false tooth in between the two of them. The way the bridge that we're going to be putting into Allison's mouth is working is that we have two teeth and a space in between those two teeth. And what we need to do is put something in there that will span that space. We're going to put a crown on one of her teeth, we're going to put a crown on the tooth next to it, and then those two teeth will attach to a false tooth, and everything will sit in one place in one piece, and she'll be able to chew on it like it was her own tooth. Now what we have is a tooth in there, and now you're going to be able to chew really, really well on that side of your mouth. The way the porcelain veneers are going to work on Allison is that we're going to prepare the front part of the tooth in such a way that we can slip a very thin piece of porcelain over that tooth. We want her teeth to look very, very natural. We're going to do some polishing on your teeth here, and then a little glazing, and we'll be done. Allison, you ready to take a look? Yes. Smile for me. I'm so numb, I can't really smile. Help me. Oh, my gosh. They've never been all together like that. <laughs> never. Never. I just keep looking and looking like, that's me, that's me, that's my mouth. It's so different. It's going to take getting used to. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I am. I have seen that face my whole life. Yep. And it's gone. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Allison's makeover isn't finished just yet. Stay tuned as the Glam Squad applies the finishing touches. Next, on 10 Years Younger. 10 Years Younger is back. We gave Allison a fresh new face and a million dollar smile. Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. Now it's time for our Glam Squad to roll up their sleeves and work a little makeover magic. Hey, how are you, Allison? Good. Good. I picked out a bunch of different looks. We're gonna put Allison in some flirty, sporty clothes that have a very feminine feel and that have a lot of color, color that she's not used to wearing. What do you think about this outfit? I really like the skirt. It's fun. I'm not sure about these stripes. What is it about the stripes? I just don't normally pick stripes. I don't know. And the bow. Let me tell you what I do like about this. I like you in light blue because it brings out your eyes. I think you're right. This might be too feminine on you, but I actually love the skirt. Let's try something more graphic. I like this. I love the way it feels. This is great. This, this wide thing going on, I never would have picked that. You know what? Let's add a little bit of color. I have a pink hoodie I want to throw on over this. Oh, okay. Okay? Punch up classic black and white by throwing on a bright colored sweater or a hoodie. This is a great little topper for practically anything. Let's keep the hoodie on. I've got another outfit for you to try on. Okay. What do you think about this and this? Okay. We're getting warmer. I really like this on you. The pants are flattering. They're sporty. They're comfortable. You, you could dress these up and dress these down. I really do love this pink on you. I think it's a good color for you. It's really different. The flowers, I'm not so sure. So you don't like the flowers. I've got another outfit for you, so let's just try something else, okay? okay? You know what, you're just gorgeous. And light blue is your color. I love the color, I love the blue. This is not good, this sash. Let's see. Yeah, this is doing nothing for you. The color is doing everything, but the style, nothing. You have a rockin' body, and I know what's gonna look good on you. But let's get you off to Jen for hair. Okay. Okay? Hi, Allison. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Have a seat. Allison's hair is really thin, and it doesn't really have a shape, so I want to really establish both of those things. I want your hair to look more substantial. Mm -hmm. You don't have a ton of it. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, yes, it's thin. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's all one color, pretty much, it tends to all blend in together. With Allison's hair, I'm going to do her color so that it looks more substantial by making it a deeper red and then adding highlights. It'll make it more three-dimensional and have it be just a really beautiful color that she can maintain. Allison, mm -hmm. how long have you had your hair like this? Probably close to uh, 10 years. Oh, that's nothing. We should keep it a couple more. <laughs> With Allison's cut, I'm going to keep as much of her length as I can, but I need to get rid of a couple inches that are just really transparent and damaged at the ends. And then I'm going to give her some layers. Talk to me a little bit about your experience styling your hair. Well, I have in-between hair. It's not 
curly and it's not straight. I've gotten the habit of just blow drying it every day, pulling it as straight as I can. I actually want to play with the curl rather than work against it. With Allison's style, I'm going to use a small round brush to get both body and movement, and I'm going to show her how to do it so that she gets some shine. Unwind it like this, mm -hmm. rather than pulling it straight out, so that actually accentuates the curl on it. I love the way Allison's hair turned out. I love the intensity of her color, and I love the shape, and I love the texture. Your hair looks yummy. I'm going to send you to Damone, and then I'll get to see you at the reveal. Okay. Hey, Allison, how are you? Hi, good. Damone, nice to meet you. Have a seat, you please. Allison's a very attractive woman. The challenge for me as a makeup artist is to bring out her best features without emphasizing the lines that she has. I'm going to show you a few little tricks to bring out that beautiful smile you have. The first thing we had to do to Allison was clean up her eyebrows. We really wanted to take years off her face instantly by giving her what I call a five minute facelift. You give her the right balance, the right structure, the right shape for the eyebrows, it takes years off the face instantly. That completes the eyebrows. Now we're going to start painting. Sound fun? Mm -hmm. All right. I really want to introduce her to a really soft, creamy foundation which didn't bring out the lines. It's good to use a liquid foundation and just to set it with a soft, translucent powder. Nothing too heavy. This powder can emphasize lines, make them look a lot deeper than they actually are. And you have really pretty blue eyes, so I want to bring that out a little bit more. Okay. That being said, I'm going to use a little bit of a brown shadow just on the lid. I didn't want to use blue eye shadow, which is a common mistake a lot of women make thinking they're going to bring out the blueness of their eyes. You want to use more of a contrast color. We used a really nice brown to really make her blue pop. Okay, so now we have the eyes going on, so I want to balance it out with the blush and the lipstick. Next we use a really soft pink blush, and I think pink really complements her skin really well. And I finished that off with the perfect pink lipstick. I think all in all it's really balanced and she looks great. I can't wait to see it all together. You look fantastic. I'll see you at the reveal. Coming up, it's time for Allison to take a little stroll on the catwalk. Move over, Bo Derek. We have an 11. Next on 10 Years Younger. 10 Years Younger is back. And it's time for Allison's big unveiling. Tony, you're Allison's best friend. Are you excited to see her? I am. Without further ado, come on out, Allison. <laughs> yes! Wow. Amazing! Oh my god. I'm sorry, are we at a amazing. beauty pageant? Absolutely amazing. Amazing. You are so gorgeous. Gorgeous. You know what? Move over, Bo Derek. We have an 11. What do you think? Oh, she looks wonderful. At first I was just astounded because she just looked so outstanding. I could see the confidence returning to her and you could just tell. Before we show you how gorgeous you are, mm -hmm. you have to see what you look like when you first came to us. Oh <laughs> Allison, where did you get this tablecloth? <laughs> Actually, and who told you it was a dress? <laughs> Actually, my friend Tony gave it to me. Tony, how dare you? Well, my friend Tracy gave it to me. <laughs> Blame it on somebody else. No excuses anymore because you look so gorgeous. In fact, it's time to show you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh my gosh. When I saw myself for the first time, I really didn't recognize myself. I was in so much shock. It was just a lot to take in all at once. I don't even, I don't recognize myself. Really. And the face, I just can't get over the makeup. I, I can't get over it. Thing. It's, it's unbelievable. Allison, I think it's time to put you back in that box and see what the public has to say. Yeah, I think so. Are you ready? Yep. Are you coming right, with I'm us? With you. Let's, Let's go, go then, come on gang. Did we succeed in making Allison look 10 years younger? Let's find out. All right, this is Allison. How old do you think she is? 35, 36. I think she could maybe be 37. What is it about her that makes you so sexy? She looks pretty hip and fashionable. I love the heels. I would say she's 36. 36? Yeah, she looks really good. Really sexy and classy all at the same time. She looks young without trying to look young. I'm thinking 37. Skin looks really nice. Nice hairdo. Uh, well, she looks pretty good. I think that, uh, you know, the blue, everything matches, and the, the, the accessories, the hair looks fabulous. I'd say 32. Maybe 36. Oh, she's just gorgeous. Her face just pops. This is Allison. Nice to meet you, Allison. <laughs> Whoa! And, um, you can kiss her after she gets out oh. of the box, okay? All right. 33. 
Skin looks great, hair looks great, great smile, just uh, kind of glows. Allison is probably 36. Oh, just overall, she's fantastic. Can't say anything bad about her. Flex for me, Allison. Flex. Tony, I'm so excited we have a new average age. I can't wait to hear it. Who are these people? Her daughter, her brother, and two close friends. Are you guys excited to see Allison? Yes. Yes! All right, then, open your eyes. Oh, my God! How is it in the box this time, sexy, gorgeous lady? A lot more fun. A lot, a more, lot fun. more fun. And great. what do you think? She just looks great. Her smile. She looks fantastic. You look good. You do look terrific. You look really good. Well, I have to tell you, the first time Allison was in the box, people thought she was 51 years old. Remember oh. that? Yep. 51. 51. Wow. Well, guess what? Today, they thought she was 35. Yeah. Yeah. 35 years old. Right? Good. That's 16! 16 years! That's pretty good. And you look gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. And we just love you. All right, well, that's our show, everybody. I'm Mark Montano. Join us next time when we try to make somebody else look 10 years younger!